Within the context of the oil and the energy markets, the Aramco CEO Amar Nasser told me earlier today that recession fears are basically keeping a lid on prices for now, but Chinese demand will improve. What's your view? My view is that everybody complains, but the price is at seventy-five dollar per barrel, which in fact is quite good. In fact, and I think if we could stabilize it in a range of seventy, eighty, I think it would be good for producers and customers. You know, so we should not forget. Okay, it's lower than last year. 100 plus, but it was too high. By the way, consumers were complaining everywhere. You know, European governments had to subsidize gasoline price. So, so I think it's better globally for to be in that range. First comment. Second, yes, the demand could be uh, there is uh, some spare for spare demand coming back. China is not yet at uh, full capacity. Uh, airlines, uh, plane industry, not yet as well. The uh, jet fuel uh, market not yet at the same level, uh, and. OPEC is doing uh, quite well, in fact, to monitor the uh, which is supply side. Uh, so it's true that all that is in a in a global market where you see this what we described before. You know, higher inflation, higher interest rate, uh, some issues on the banking system. So you have a sort of global uh, bearish mood, but fundamentally on the oil market, if IEA is right and we expect an increase of demand up to one of the two million barrel oil per day, then that means that we need to continue to produce uh, if we don't want the price to go too high. So what is the sweet spot for Total Energies and how is the current pricing environment and landscape impacting your investment decisions? You know, we are very safe. Uh, the break-even of Total Energies at $25 per barrel, uh, 50 plus dividend, and we invest uh, with a uh, uh, a benchmark of $50 per barrel. So why? Because we never know what could happen. So at $75 per barrel plus, which is very important for Total Energies, a gas price which is uh, in Europe above $10 per million, 10 to 15. We are the largest exporter of LNG from the US. You know, it's a very good environment. So I am in a comfortable position as a CEO uh, to, man to maneuver the company and to build a strategy for the future.